Thank you very much. Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Environmental Scrutiny. I'd like to just start by wishing everyone a happy new year and hopefully it'll be a lot better than 2020. I think scrutiny is extremely important and I think what's important about this is about learning how the whole council operates. Councillor Wong. Hello. Hi. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, I just wanted to um, ask uh, if, if, if you could give us a little bit more detail on, on uh, how the bike fleets will work in, in practice in terms of what the size of the fleet would be and the scale of the, of the operation, uh, particularly around um, uh, one, of the, one of the key issues for me about the lack of secure bike parking at schools currently. I think it's important that it's a team effort for scrutiny and that's exactly what's been happening in the environmental scrutiny. I've been very fortunate, I've got some excellent members but also a very strong team of staff. And I'm going to pass this straight over to Richard. OK, thank you, Chair. So um, I'm going to open the meeting, so please start recording. Uh, welcome to everybody uh, to the remote meeting of the, today's Environmental Scrutiny Committee meeting. Um, as usual, the Chair of the Committee this evening is Councillor Patel. However, if he experiences any technical difficulties during the meeting, then Councillor Bob Darbush will take over chair and responsibilities. During this pandemic, it's been a little bit more challenging because we can't do certain things, which is like going on site and meeting people. But what we have done is worked closely together with all the five scrutiny chairs. And by doing that, it's a combined effort by all committees. So it's not about one scrutiny, it's about all five scrutinies working together and delivering the best for Cardiff. One of the biggest achievements we've done in, during the pandemic period has been the One Planet Cardiff. We all know that we declared a climate emergency as a council um, last year. I was uh, very keen that that not just be uh, a symbolic gesture that had actually led to action and actually meant something. The One Planet Cardiff is one of the biggest exercises we've carried out from Cardiff University. We had Professor Mark Barry who uh, advised us on the metro schemes. We also had Sustrans and plus we also had Welsh Government Energy people as well. We need to act now really if we're going to get serious on climate change and I think what you see in w within the strategy um, is both um, a, a summing up of some of the really good work that we've already been doing. It is important that we gather all this information and I'm pleased that we were able to do that with very comprehensive research work. When we're talking about deforestation free, we're talking about overseas deforestation linked to our goods and, and that's the project we would like to see added, uh, which is a commitment from uh, Cardiff um, to become deforestation free uh, by a set period of time. Uh, we did have the support of our officers and the cabinet members as well, but it was great to have that support from the academics and the public. So we had actual people being able to give us their inside knowledge of what the future of Cardiff should look like. One planet is not just about taking a carbon out, it's about greening Cardiff, it's about a complete change in the way we actually put different policies in the way the council works together across all four for the benefit of the city. One of the areas which we are looking at very closely is waste management. We have got new schemes going in. We've got a four-day working scheme. And how we manage our service is working through those systems. In terms of how we're ensuring that we're going to move forward and, and make a difference in terms of what you said, those miscollections, which uh, I know causes frustration now, is that we, we're developing a, a new control room and new roles within the team. What we will be doing is keeping a very close eye on that to see how that is bedding in. Highways is another major issue as well. We want to make sure that our residents who often talk about payments not being correct or that roads are not right, we need to look at all of those things. What we're trying to do is find a balance and it's instructive that on Wellfield Road, for example, the initial proposal removed the parking, all the parking, and then looked at widening pavements and so on. But actually in consultation with local communities and businesses, a balanced position was arrived at so that some of the parking has gone back in on one side of the road, while also there's the opportunity for pavement widening, bus facilities and cycling. 
One of the other areas we do also look at in the environmental scrutiny is shared regulatory services. Shared regulatory services is a major part in our scrutiny and what will be challenging is whether there will be sufficient resources for that area as well. So it's an evolving picture. We will constantly keep a lookout on everything that's going on around the area.